I love nothing more than enjoying a great glass of wine. There's an art to producing every variety and style, and today's journey is all about bubbles. You know, I just love French champagne, but how those superior French winemakers get the bubbles in the bottle is a pretty closely guarded secret. It's called Method Champenoise, and look, it's technical and takes a long time, but it really does bring a whole new layer, a whole new dimension of texture and verve and creaminess and flavour. I'm heading to a place to meet a couple of people that have not only pinched that process, they're pretty close to beating the frogs at their own game. Here at Myatsfield Estate, they've been right at the forefront of winemaking in the Perth Hills. They're known for the use of non-mainstream European table wine varieties, but it's their sparkling wines that have got the Aussie wine industry sitting up and taking notice. Owned and operated by Rachel and Josh Davenport, together they run Myatsfield Estate. Starting the business 20 years ago, they travelled the world exploring different winemaking styles before settling their family here. OK, Rach. I'm dying to know about this sparkling wine here at Myersfield. What are the great varieties that you use? We use a blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. So Method Champenoise, give us the lowdown. How does it work? What is it? Basically, Method Champenoise is a secondary fermentation conducted in bottle with yeast. Firstly, it ferments creating carbon dioxide, which gets trapped in the bottle, uh, creating the bubbles. And secondly, over time, it breaks down to, uh, to give those yeasty, bready, Vegemite characters that you get in the end product. But we don't end up with that in our glass, do we? How do you get rid of the yeast? No, we go through a process of riddling and disgorging to get it ready for the marketplace. Now, disgorging, I heard that you're the queen of disgorging. Is that right? Some say. <laughs> How many bottles do you do a year? Uh, here at Mightsfield, we'll do about 20,000, 24,000 bottles a year. Can you show me how to do one? Certainly can. All right, eh? So this is the disgorging process. The yeast has done all of its work. It's put all those bubbles in the bottle and most of those creamy flavours and textures. So now we've got to get rid of the yeast and you can learn how to do it at one of Mightsfield's disgorging programs and workshops. But uh, now it's my turn. Righto, boss, give me a go. <sighs> Pressure's on. Okay, disgorgement done, yeast has disappeared. Yeast is gone. Last step of the process is to add a dosage or a little bit of sugar liqueur to uh, balance out the acid and finesse the wine. Yeah, right, wow. You can really just smell those wonderful characters leaping up out of the glass. I mean, it's just absolutely delicious. Such a great big creamy mouthfeel, isn't it? I love this idea of Method Champenoise. Next time you're sitting in a restaurant, or buying a bottle off the shelves at your bottle shop. It's not just a fancy French name at the bottle. What it means is that superstars, jet ninja winemakers like this, have poured their blood, sweat and tears, poured their heart into the bottle, and it ends up with this unctuous, luscious, rich, creamy, broad, moussey, wonderful wine drinking experience that I'm just ready to get stuck into. Cheers. Cheers.